everyone, I'm Malika and this is Vaipuna and this is for my blog lifeswell.com. Um, you can check out that site and my blog um, for links to all of the things that we're talking about today and a little more um, written in detail. But for now, I'm going to give you my top 10 list um, for successful breastfeeding. So one thing I've been seeing a lot, especially here on Maui, um, we have a Maui Mommies Facebook group, and there's a lot of chatter about um, breastfeeding and breastfeeding pillows. One of my friends just gave birth, she has a newborn, and she's like, how do you get the baby to the level of your boob? So I'm going to show you what I ended up doing. I've got my breast friend. Um, I put this around my back. I have my backrest pillow, you see here behind me, and I like this because it has arms so I can lean my arm on it while I'm breastfeeding. And then in order to bring baby up to the right level, because you can she see she's a little low here, I take my wedge, which I use for pregnancy, um, I used to put it underneath my tummy or in my lumbar area for support, and I take my wedge and I put it underneath. And then if I need even more height, I'll cross my legs. And if I need even more height, I'll add another pillow. So that is basically what I do as far as positioning. And you can see that now she's in a beautiful position to nurse. You want to nurse, huh? <laughs> so that's my pillow situation. Wedge, breast friend, backrest pillow. Okay, number two, the bra situation. So nursing bras are great. They're the kind that you unclip. Um, but you know, after a while, they just got kind of cumbersome and uncomfortable for me. So I just went to Victoria's Secret and I bought like a regular bra that I can just fold over. So that's what I do. I also need those pads, you know, the disposable pads. Actually, okay, this might be weird, but <laughs> this is what they look like. <laughs> they do get a little like, like they don't lie really flat and stuff, but I think it's important to have the disposable ones so that you keep the area um, sanitary and um, clean and dry. Make sure you change these out once they get wet. Um, and they do kind of like when you fold over your bra to breastfeed, they do kind of like bunch up and stuff. So you'll want to smooth them back out so they're, they're on the right side to really absorb the excess milk that starts to drip out. Number three. Burp cloths. Oh my goodness, both of my babies were huge spitters. So after we would nurse, um, I would burp them and I definitely needed more than one burp cloth. The other way that I used the burp cloth was when um, the breast is exposed and you have baby nursing, I would put it like folded over the, um, the my bra and between the baby so that it would catch any like excess milk that would drop. And then sometimes baby likes to um, pull off from the boob and you spray everywhere and so it was good to like whoop, just kind of cover that up and get things under control. <laughs> um, ah yes, I don't know where it went but massage oil is fantastic because um, you're breastfeeding so often that you'll get a sore neck from looking down pretty much all day, um, you'll have a sore back. And so I like to even use this wedge to just kind of support my back if I'm just sitting with baby. Um, and your hands, oh my goodness. So that's something that nobody told me, but I had like mommy claw. So you know how you have your hand in like a C shape to cup your breast to breastfeed? My hands felt like they were permanently stuck in this position and it really hurts and aches. And so um, fortunately I have a wonderful husband. So massage oil is one of those things that was fantastic. So he can massage my hands and my neck and my back or whatever was hurting. <laughs> Next up, the heating pad. Oh, I also forgot to bring that one out here. But the heating pad um, was essential for um, relieving my engorgement. So when your milk comes in, your breasts get really big and firm. They're totally full of milk. And um, I would just pretty much lay around with a heating pad on my chest um, like as much as I could. A warm shower also helps. You can kind of like stand under a warm shower or take a warm bath if you've healed up enough to be able to do that. Um, next up, also well, speaking of engorgement, another thing that you can do is pump. Um, I 
didn't really resort to pumping for relieving the engorgement because, you know, it's supply and demand and so I didn't want my body to feel like it needed to produce more because I was um, draining more. But um, I did pump once or twice when it just was like unbearable pain. Um, I mean unbearable, it, you know, it was just like so uncomfortable that I needed some relief. So this is my breast pump. It's a Medela pump. Um, you should check with your insurance because I got two free pumps, one with each of my children, and they weren't like the cheapy kind. This is the Medela $300 ones, um, and these are great. I like to use, yeah, let's not eat that. Um, I use my breast pump um, now pretty regularly. I, I like to pump in the morning when I'm nice and full, and I can get a lot of milk that I can store in the future for when I just need some mommy time, <laughs> um, or me time maybe I should say. And um, the other thing that I like to do was when I was pumping in the morning, and when I do pump in the morning, I like to then um, make a bottle for my husband and he can feed baby and have that beautiful connection um, with our children as he feeds them. Yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Another thing you need when you're using your breast pump are these funky bras. The reason I say they're funky is because of that. <laughs> There's two little holes in the nipple areas because that's where you're gonna put um, the breast shield in and onto your breast. Um, I can't stress this enough, you need this bra. If you do it with a regular bra, um, well, you pretty much can't. And then if you're not doing it with a bra at all, you're holding it and it just, for some reason, it just doesn't um, make that connection to really pump efficiently. So I would definitely suggest getting one of these guys. I got this on Amazon. Um, you know, they're pretty cheap. And then everything that comes with it, right? All the storage equipment and all that jazz. Um, one thing that I love are these plastic storage bags. They're BPA free. Um, you should not warm them in the microwave. Uh, we just put them into, a, so, I, so anyway, what I do is I pump the milk, then I put it into the storage bag, and then I kind of, I, I zip it up, trying to push out as much um, air as I can, and then I lay them down flat um, to freeze, and then in the freezer, they can all be kind of in a line, I'll, I'll show you a photo of that, in a line so that it takes up less space. And then to defrost it, we just put it into a little bowl of warm water and it defrosts on its own. And then you put it in a bottle and if you need. Um, oh yes, so nipple ointment is key. When you first start breastfeeding, your breasts are not ready for it. <laughs> um, and it hurts. Dried, cracked, bleeding nipples. Um, with Jackson, I used lanolin. My lanolin was three years old and expired, so when this baby came out, I just grabbed whatever was, ha was on hand, and for me, it was my essential oils. So I used this Hawaiian sandalwood oil on my nipples to help soothe them um, and get me through that period, which, oh my gosh, I feel you. It's just so sore. Um, I'm so happy that, you know, she's eight months old, so I, I'm not at that point anymore, and thank goodness. Um, sometimes though, baby will bite um, or I guess maybe suck too hard and <clears throat> your nipples will bleed. And <clears throat> you might not even notice that your nipple is bleeding or that blood is getting into the milk that your baby is um, drinking. And it's not a lot of blood, but um, it'll like freak you out when they spit up. So I just want to say like that's happened to me. I asked my doctor and it's totally okay, normal, fine. Um, when they spit up and it's like pink or has like it has blood in it. Um, it can be pretty alarming and especially when they're little newborns and you're wondering what's wrong with them but actually it was um, your milk had a little bit of blood in it and so it came up in their spit up. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. I know it freaked me out so I just wanted to share that with you. What else have I got here? Ah yes, a water bottle. So I fill my water bottle up completely and um, I put it at my bedside so that every time I wake up to breastfeed, I drink this entire bottle because your body needs to stay hydrated and you're draining it of a bunch of liquid. So fill it back up. Um, when I'm done with uh, the bottle, I have my husband fill it up and it's just always full so that I can always, when, when I breastfeed, I drain it. And so it makes sense, right? It's kind of logical. 
Next up are supplements, um, vitamins. So I continue to take my prenatal vitamin. Here, um, I take a probiotic. Probiotics are great because, um, you know, there's all kinds of infections that you can get. So it's just kind of one extra layer of maybe preventing something like that from happening. And obviously all of the things that you take go into your breast milk and are given to your baby. So this is all good stuff. DHA is amazing. It's so good for their brain development. Um, oh, and, um, like mother's milk tea I took for a long time with Jackson. Um, I would drink it every day and apparently it helps with your milk supply with her. I haven't done it and I still have milk. So who knows if it actually works, but it's kind of one of those things that um, it can't hurt, right? And the last couple of things I wanted to talk about um, with Jackson, he wasn't really interested in breastfeeding and so we needed one of those little medicine droppers. And um, the hospital gave us one. We also have, had some at home. And basically, I needed to self-express milk, put it into a dropper, and then put it into the side of his mouth um, so that he would kind of like wake up and taste the milk and become interested. There are a million different apps that you can download. Um, we like Baby Connect. It syncs on both of our phones. I think it was about five bucks. Um, my husband can input information, I can input information, and basically what it does is it helps me organize um, my thoughts because I can't remember anything, and especially when you're sleep deprived and a baby is a tiny little infant, um, you really don't remember what boob you ended on last time, how long did you go on each side, and things like that. And so these apps are so helpful. You pretty much just open the app, you press left side, start, baby nurses, when they're done, stop, start other side, stop, and it logs all of this information for you. So if you don't remember which side got a little bit less than the other, the last, um, the last time you nurse, you just open up your app and it'll tell you. Um, also, I love um, putting down the milestones and also tracking the wet diapers um, and poopy diapers that baby has because that's what tells you whether or not they're getting enough milk. So happy breastfeeding. Those are that was a little kind of out there. <laughs> I feel like it was unorganized, but anyway, um, those are some of the things that I use um, and that have made my breastfeeding experience very successful. Don't give up. I know the beginning is hard and it's hard for all of us, um, but it's so worth it in the end. I ended up breastfeeding my son for two years and baby girl is eight months. We're still breastfeeding and I plan to breastfeed for two years with her as well. So hopefully if my milk supply stays high, I'll be able to do that. I would love to hear from you uh, about the things that you have used that helped your breastfeeding journey be a, be a success. Um, I, if you have like different products or maybe a different brand or something that you liked better, um, go ahead and comment below and um, I'd love to read your comments and, and kind of have a chat about this issue. Breastfeeding Awareness Month, so normalize breastfeeding folks. All right, go to lifeswell.com for this in a more organized, written out, <laughs> bullet point <laughs> list, and also some links to some of these products if you wanna see exactly where I got um, or what brands I, I use and stuff. My, I know my husband has done a lot of research as far as like vitamins and things like that. But anywho, um, yeah, have a great day, ahoy yeah.